Okay, cheers. Now that you have your wine, we're going to do two entrees today. We're going to do a uh, pan seared chicken, roasted garlic mashed potatoes, fresh vegetables, and a little uh, red wine mushroom sauce. Nice. And then we're going to roll sushi. We're home, you went to the grocery store, you picked up simple random chicken breasts, red potatoes, whatever you like, white potatoes, portobello mushrooms, shallots, tomatoes, red pepper, and zucchini. Everything you can find in the grocery store. Skin on mashed potatoes. See it? I'm just going to throw those right in our pot of water. Does it need to be boiling first? Nope. Now we're going to julienne these, which is just little matchstick strips. Shallot for our mushroom sauce, cut it in half. And you're gonna make little strips in it. And then come back across this way. That's how I do it. And you get a little nice wow. shallot. Wow. A little oil on the chicken. Yeah, I got like kosher salt. Wow. I need to get some sugar. And pepper. Now the presentation side down in the pan. Whatever side you're gonna put up on the plate is the side you put down in the pan. Oh. And you, you always wanna take it away from you. Put the chicken away. So if the grease was the splatter, it goes that way. We can take our tongs and check the color. What do you think? Good? Yeah. 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 How do you know that this how you hey, look. Look. Turn off your heat. Put this on your baking sheet or whatever you're going to use. And throw it in the oven for probably 15 to 20 minutes at 350. Uh, our potatoes are boiling, our chicken seared. So you ladies are going to do the rest. Uh, the sushi display I have for you. We're going to do two rolls today. One I started before is going to be the Harbor Magic Roll. So this is the water, sticky rice. To keep it from sticking to you, use water on your hands. Not a lot, so you don't want to get the rice, rice wet, but you want enough so it doesn't stick. So then you take your rice and you kind of work it right onto the nori. Not too thick, spreading it around. What is, what is it about the tuna? So it's the same tuna, only you do what to it? I chopped this tuna up and I used a sriracha the spicy chili sauce and fresh parsley. Yeah, the camera. Special sushi grade tuna. You want to try to get special sushi grade tuna? I need to go back to my water and just slightly wet the top here so it'll stick when I get down there. Using my fingers, start it, and you get that far, right? And then you kind of want to squeeze it in there. Okay. Check it out. Wow. See? And then you come all the way down to the end and once again squeeze it in there. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. so So pretty. That's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. So this is enough wasabi probably for one person's entire lifetime. <laughs> There's some water. And half oh. rice wine vinegar is the way I do it. Interesting. <laughs> this roll has so much flavor, I don't think you need soy sauce for that. Oh. It looks so good. Oh my god. Put you up into two or three groups. We'll see how it starts. But for now, let's go. This side of the table is group A. That side of the table is group B. All right. Let's yeah. get started.